In anticipation of the Magento 2.4.0 update, I found myself reading through the official Magento release notes, of which I found some pretty interesting points amongst the plethora of notes that I feel should be made a bit more known. So here are the need to know highlights that will likely affect you and your store after this short message. Mirrorsvit, developers of Magento 2 extensions that will dramatically enhance your store for navigation, SEO, performance, customer care, user experience, and productivity. Take for example, Elasticsearch Ultimate, a powerful yet easy to use solution to improve your site search with high speed results, automatic correction, hot searches, and so much more. Head over to mirrorsvit.com and use code digital startup to get money off your next purchase. Details in the video description below. The 2.4.0 release includes all the improvements to core quality that were included in Magento 2.3.5 patch one, over a hundred new fixes to core code and 30 security enhancements. It includes the resolution of 226 GitHub issues. Currently there are still around about 1,400 outstanding. Anyway, I'll say this now, Rather than leave this to the end, I personally won't upgrade to 2.4.0. I consider it too high risk to update the latest large update as it could include significant bugs. Instead, I'll stay on the 2.3 branch for a while, at least until 2.4.1 or 2.4.2, which should contain a lot of bug fixes from the early release. You don't have to do this yourself, but I just wanted to remain completely transparent. So here are the need to know highlights. Two factor authentication is now enabled by default for the Magento admin. Admin users must first configure their 2FA before logging into the admin through their UI or the web API. 2FA is enabled by default and cannot be disabled. This extra step of authentication makes it harder for malicious users to log into the admin without authorization. PHP 7.4 support introduced and PHP 7.1 and 7.2 deprecated. Magento 2.4.0 introduces support for PHP 7.4. All testing of 2.4 has been done on PHP 7.4. You can still install Magento 2.4 with PHP 7.3, but we only recommend using PHP 7.4. Now, bear in mind that just because Magento 2.4 will support PHP 7.4, it does not mean that any third party modules will automatically be compatible. You will have to wait for them to update their products before you can upgrade onto the new PHP. Elasticsearch 7 support. The Elasticsearch 7 version is now the default catalog search engine for Magento Commerce and open source. Elasticsearch version 2 code has been removed and Elasticsearch version 5 has been deprecated. Elasticsearch version 6.8 is still supported in Magento 2.4 and 2.3. MySQL 8.0 support. Magento 2.4 supports MySQL 8. Magento 2.4 was tested with MySQL 8. Merchants are encouraged to migrate their deployments to MySQL 8 to take advantage of its improved performance, security, and reliability. Although MySQL 5.7 is still supported for Magento 2.4, MySQL 5.6 is no longer supported. Therefore, you cannot host Magento 2.4 with a MySQL 5.6 database. Removal of the MySQL catalog search engine. As mentioned above, the MySQL catalog search engine has been removed from Magento 2.4 in favor of the Elasticsearch engine. MariaDB 10.4 support. Support for MySQL 8 provides the opportunity for merchants to deploy MariaDB 10.4 with Magento. Although merchants can still use MariaDB 10.2 with Magento 2.4, we recommend upgrading to MariaDB 10.4 for improved performance and reliability. The MariaDB 10 and 10.1 are no longer supported as a result of removing support for MySQL 5.6. Removal of the core integration of Signified Fraud Protection Code. So the Signified module will no longer be part of the core code, so this will no longer be supported. 
The core Braintree module has been removed from the code base. The Braintree payments module now provides the same feature set. Removal of core integration of third party payment methods. So with this release, uh, Authorize.net, eWay, Cybersource and WorldPay payment method integrations have been removed from core code. Merchants should migrate to the official extensions that are available on the Magento marketplace. Support for partial word search for Elasticsearch. Elasticsearch now supports the use of partial words in search terms for product names and SKUs when using Quick Search. Deprecation and removal of the web setup wizard. You must use the command line to install or upgrade Magento 2.4. Now, I did some digging into this one because this seemed like a huge deal. And in actual fact, in 2.4, uh, I've read that web setup wizard is going completely. So whether you want to make any upgrades or updates to Magento or any of the modules, you will now have to do that from the command line interface. Multiple optimizations to Redis performance. The enhancements minimize the number of queries to Redis that are performed on each Magento request. So we should see some slight performance optimization there on the server. Magento Media Library. This replacement for the former media gallery offers a brand new searchable interface for Magento media assets. Administrators can now search, filter and sort images up to 30 times faster than they could in the earlier version of this feature. Inventory management. Inventory management enhances for this release include support for in-store pickup and bundle product support. Now there are a ton more release notes for Magento 2.4 and you should take the time to read through them. Once 2.4 is available, I'll be producing two videos. How to upgrade Magento 2.3 to 2.4 on Ubuntu. This will be aimed at anyone who's been following along with my previous tutorials. And how to install Magento 2.4 and build a web server from scratch. I hope you found this information of some use. Anyway, until next time, take care.